Computer hardware is complex to say the least, and many gamers are content to simply buy a pre-built PC expecting that the people whose business it is to know better have done their best to ensure that all the hardware is up to snuff. But if you've decided to build your own PC, then you're likely to want to know as much as you can about each individual piece of hardware and all of its specs. We've already spoken at length on this channel about CPUs, GPUs and even RAM in many ways, but one thing we haven't really touched upon is RAM speed. The clock speeds of DDR4 RAM range between 2133 MHz and 2400 MHz. And as you can see, there is a huge discrepancy right here between the highest and the lowest clock speeds. But how exactly does this impact gaming? Well, if that's the question that's been bugging you, then you've come to the right place, because this video will be all about answering that one question. So without any further ado, let's begin. First off, let's get the basics out of the way. What is RAM speed? When we say RAM speed, what we're actually referring to is the clock speed of the RAM module. If you've watched our CPU and GPU videos, then you probably already know what clock speeds entail. They're measured in hertz, and a single hertz equates to one clock cycle per second. However, since these aren't processors but memory modules, it's not exactly the same thing. RAM doesn't process data, it just transfers it between the other components like the CPU, GPU, and storage. So you can essentially think of RAM as plain old bandwidth. The higher the clock speed, the more data the RAM can transfer between these components. But does this have any impact on gaming? If we think of RAM as a bandwidth, it shouldn't be all that hard to imagine the benefits of faster RAM. It's even easier to imagine the detriments of slower RAM. If your RAM is incapable of transferring data quickly enough, you get RAM bottleneck. But how much is too much? And more importantly, how much is not enough? Well, the easiest way to determine this is just to check the RAM speed supported by the CPU and the motherboard. If your RAM speed is lower than the minimum required speed specified by the motherboard and the CPU, then let's just say that the system could behave unpredictably. Except that it wouldn't really take a crystal ball to predict subpar performance or even the inability to boot up. So meeting the minimum supported speeds of the CPU and the motherboard is a good place to start. For example, the Intel i9-7900X CPU supports DDR4 RAM operating at 2666 MHz. This is the minimum speed that is needed for the CPU to operate at optimal capacity, but it's not the maximum RAM speed that the CPU can handle. And you can even exceed the maximum specified clock speeds. Anything with a clock speed can be overclocked, but avoid doing so to extremes, or else you might end up doing more harm than good. But what if you've got some extra cash to burn? Will installing a faster RAM result in better in-game performance? The answer is a disappointing eh, kind of? When using professional programs, you can certainly get a lot of mileage out of faster RAM. But when it comes to gaming, capacity is generally more important than speed. This isn't to say that you won't see a slight bump in the frame rate when you install a faster RAM, but that's all it will ever be, a slight bump. The benefits of a GPU with more VRAM and a CPU with more cores, or even a faster or larger SSD, are far greater than the performance difference between a 4266 MHz and a 2666 MHz RAM kit. So if you're pinching pennies, always remember that the most cost-effective RAM speed is the minimum RAM speed supported by your CPU and motherboard. And speaking of cost efficiency, let's look at the cost. As you probably guessed, the faster the RAM is, the more expensive it is. And with the benefits that you're getting for this price increase being minimal, it should never be a priority when building a gaming PC. If you've got a set budget that still has some room in it after you've decided on all the components, then by all means, go right ahead and get an extra speedy RAM. But until then, as far as RAM is concerned, it's best to focus on capacity. 16GB of RAM is the sweet spot for gaming in 2019, so this should be your first priority. You might also want to consider RAM configurations. If you're interested in this, check out the video where we compare single, dual, and quad channel memory by following the link in the description. 
And that about does it for this video. To summarize, speed is the least important RAM specification for gaming, provided that you have enough of it for your CPU and motherboard to work without any hiccups. Faster RAM does lead to a performance bump, but this bump is often too minuscule to justify the price attached to it. At the very least, it should never come at the expense of a better GPU or a CPU. In any case, we hope you found this video helpful. If you have, you can help us out by liking it and subscribing to our channel. Also, if you want to see more videos like this one, the best way to do so is by clicking on the bell icon so that YouTube can sneak new uploads past you. More videos are on their way, so stay tuned. And if you're just getting into PC building, you should check out the other hardware and spec videos we've made. In the meantime, may your games be fun and your losses few. And as always, we'll see you next time on Gaming Scan.